This garden may seem overgrown, but it hides a rich harvest. We've got leeks, we've got sweet corn, we've got Jerusalem artichokes. All grown organically. Gorgeous, tender runner beans, all pesticide free. This carefully cultivated plot is also a haven for bees. But in his latest book, Professor Dave Goulson describes a devastating insect decline. Now he wants an urban pesticide ban to help protect them. There's clear evidence that, that pesticides are one of the big drivers of the collapse of insect populations, uh, which are vitally important creatures. They pollinate our flowers and our crops. They perform all sorts of other really important ecological uh, services. Commonly used pesticides are poisonous to insects, harming bees and other wildlife, which are already in crisis, tipping the delicate balance of biodiversity. If insects die, birds are left without food. And so the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds is joining the call for better pesticide control. Some of the birds that we find in gardens in the UK are actually um, declining quite rapidly, like sparrows and starlings. So it's really important that we take the opportunity to make those spaces as friendly to wildlife as possible. Private pesticide use is widespread in the UK. Many want tidy gardens, spraying to kill weeds. But environmentalists say the cumulative use of pesticides causes uncalculated damage. Local authorities are major pesticide users too, spraying public areas on a large scale. The Pesticide Action Network campaigns against urban pesticide use. This Brighton Park, a pioneer in alternative methods, allowing a more natural environment. There is no need for them in the urban setting. Uh, we need to help urban biodiversity, we need to protect the health and well-being of you know, the citizens that, that live, work and play in our towns. Children are also vulnerable to exposure to toxins in pesticides. Here, they can play safely. Authorities here in Brighton have already agreed to stop the use of pesticides in public spaces. And the differences in this park are already evident. Now, campaigners want to see this pesticide-free policy pushed nationwide. Brighton is among 70 local authorities pledging not to use pesticides, creating a less toxic environment, allowing grass to mingle with weeds. Campaigners argue an untidy garden is better for the environment and that pesticides aren't needed at all. There's a whole army of, of beneficial insects, predators of, of insect pests that in a healthy garden will come to your rescue and get rid of all the pests for you. You really don't need to spray pesticides in your garden. And the proof is in this greenhouse. With nature allowed to take its course, this crop is even healthier.